Displaying lots of strength there early on. There's lots of aerial action here. Hopefully they'll get the ball down soon, and they soon do here. Luke Desmond on the drive forward, and an early shot from Desmond. Just wide of Luke Dennison's right-hand post. He's asking his players in front of him where are that takes here tonight against Longford Town. But Longford coming forward now with Dean McMenemy. McMenemy into Verdon, who's got space. It's a good first touch for Verdon. Can he get a shot away? Can it's cleared off the line? Adeyemo, though, he helps at home. And it's an early goal for Longford Town. Jordan Adeyemo. The, the dents and breaks that Cove Ramblers back for. Longford will be looking to add plenty more tonight as the game goes on. And another ball up towards Sam Verdon. And confusion at the back. Verdon is in again for Longford. But that is a fantastic late tackle from Brendan Frahill. A goal-saving challenge, no doubt. He made the initial. It's a good ball in behind. Cover on the move now with Sean McGrath. Gets it outside and he receives it back again off Connor Drynan. And there's plenty of bodies in the box here. McGrath, can he find the teammate? No, but he has won a corner at least. A far more positive play from Cove. I thought they might try and take the sting out of the game. Ball forward. This could go anywhere. And this is a chance for Cove. And that was Connor Drynan with an attempted back heel on the edge of the six yard box. That was very poor defending from Longford Town. And we're going to take this set piece for Longford Town. Cove Ramblers have got everyone back in the 18 yard box to defend this one. Longford just leave. Elworthy and O'Brien at the back. McMenemy sends it in towards the back post. Adeyemo with an audacious effort. What a goal that would have been. But again, for Cove Ramblers, gets it out wide. Whitmarsh gets it back. He's got Drynan inside. He finds Drynan. Drynan fakes the shot and he just took too long on that one. But there again is that man, Luke Desmond. He's not afraid to shoot from range, but that wasn't as good as his earlier effort. But again, more to McMenemy. Some lovely off the ball movement here from Longford Town. McMenemy has lots of options. He gives it into Barnett. Barnett into Adeyemo, nice turn inside the area, but that's good defending from Frahel, but again Adeyemo comes back for seconds, lays it off to Barnett, but again, Cove Ramblers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bodies. I have to say, there must have been a little tug on the jersey of Barnett that we didn't spot. That's good to see from the referee, Michael Connolly, keen to get on with things, goes over and grabs the ball and throws it to a Longford Town player, and Sam Verdon with a quick shot, he's appealing for a corner, it's and that one. corner's going to be given. Longford decided to go short with this free kick. Here's Shane Elworthy now. Good ball on the outside of the boot to Sam Verdon. Good hold-up play from him. He plays it in behind Elworthy. Elworthy to Adeyemo to Malloy. Oh, the flag is up on the far side. It looked like a perfect team goal from Longford Town. Five minutes to go until the half-time break. Plenty can happen yet. Barnett sends that ball over towards Darren Clark, but that's well intercepted. and That's a cheeky effort on goal from John Cavanagh. A little bit of rush of blood to the head there. He... Desmond, lovely dink ball out to the left-hand side where John Cavanagh is waiting. Cavanagh is met by Elworthy, but he's going to try and go by him. And it's a dangerous ball in. Uh, Whitmarsh, I wonder if he's offside. Indeed he is. And uh, if you're watching that at home, that's not in the back of the net. It's gone into the side. Good play from Matthew O'Brien to keep this attack alive for the town. Dylan Barnett, long for starting to pin Cove in here. Barnett rolls it into the feet of Sam Vernon. Good hold-up play. It's back to Barnett. Puts his foot through that one, but it runs over the bar for a goal kick. All through the lines for Connor Drynan, who's hustled out of it really well by a combination of McMenemy and on, another town teammate. And here's Adeyemo, he is onside. Adeyemo, will he go himself? No, he'll square it to Vernon. Oh, oh what a block that is from Ecuador. He was so unlucky in the first half. Headed away by Frahl. Oh, that's oh. unbelievable skill from Clark. Oh, and Pepe again. A little bit of adrenaline flowing through his veins there. He yeah. probably could have taken another second longer to survey his options, but he took the shot on first time. But gas going in. An awful lot go out there this evening. As Barnett gets ready to take the corner. It's good defending again from Egwabor. Really commanding presence in that back line for Cove this evening. McMenemy! Oh, just wide off Paul Hunt's right hand post. He was planted to the ground. The line towards Fleming. McMenemy intercepts once again. He's had his jersey pulled there. He's had it pulled again. Referee plays the advantage. Good ball into Clark. Clark takes a couple of touches. Gets a shot away. It's deflected. Oh, it's a brilliant save from Paul Hunt. That is a brilliant save. Barker heads it back into the danger area. Barker again lays it off here to Hanratty. Verdon. Back to Hanratty. Hanratty with the shot. Hanratty with his first goal for Longford Town Football Club. All up towards Verdon. Good first touch. Nice turn from Verdon. Into the path of Clark. Can he get there? Ahead of Kavanagh. He can. It's a brilliant point blank save, point blank save from Paul Hunt. Adeyemo. He gathers it inside the penalty area. He's battling. He's digging in deep here to keep this ball alive. Good ball round the corner for Drynan. 
Good give and go from him. And he gives it off again to the full back. Inside to McGrath. Oh, it's lovely footwork, lovely drop of the shoulder from McGrath. He's engineered a yard or two to get a shot away on goal. It's blocked down, it'll be a corner, but really good play. One of the substitutes there, Pierce Phillips. Here's Egwabor. Phillips. Ball over the top towards Drynan. Nice flick on with the chest. And this is a chance, but the flag is up. Dennis have beaten, but that goal will not stand. Jake Hergerty. Messrs. Barnett and McMenemy stand over this one. It's going to be McMenemy to whip it in. It's a good ball. Oh, Frahal, that could have gone anywhere. And Mick McDonnelly really should have scored from one number five to another. Not enough in the second half to, to warrant that, though. Showed lots of attack and promise in the first half, but they really haven't been able to just get Morton in the second. It's been constant long for town pressure. But just as I say that, it's a nice trickery from Drynan. And Drynan with a good effort, but he floats that one over the bar in the end. Again, probably tiredness beginning to set in. It's been a long journey down to Longford for Cove and they've been chasing shadows for most of the second half and that's probably starting to show now with a couple of sloppy mistakes starting to set into this Cove team. O'Brien! That was always rising unfortunately but we have seen him score those type of goals. Here he is again. We've said his name quite a bit tonight, Dean McMenemy. Into Corbali. That's good defending again from Justin Egwabor. Only for him, who knows what the score is.